Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Pitt. I'm with VMware Tech Marketing and this is the second part of our quick walkthrough or quick demo of how to integrate Solstic Config with Area Automation Cloud Templates. Quick info, Area Automation was for, formerly known as Realize Automation as you see it here in my screen. So first thing we need to know, know is we have created a cloud template in the previous video and we were just going to extend this now by a couple of more properties and configurations. So first thing is we have added already an input parameter into this cloud template. You see this here in line 225. So there is an application or application name input, which is a string. And that's basically the variable we want to pass into our source stack state. To do this, we need to extend our SolStack resource. So you find the SolStack resource here, uh, line 7 to 15, and we need to add another property. If you just create a new line, Area Automation will give you a proposal which properties are not used yet and which you can use to yeah, extend this configuration. In our case, we just want to use the variables property and the variables property requires, of course, some key value pairs. So for this, we just create a new key value pair um, with first thing is we need to give it a name, the key, which is application name. And then we just need to define what is the value for this. As the value is an input parameter, we need to use the syntax to import or to read the input. For this, we do like dollar curly brackets and then it's already proposing as input dot application name and then we close the curly brackets so basically that's it so you see it's not closed yet close and then all of the errors and warnings are disappeared all right that's all from the uh, area automation perspective of this so next is we need to jump into salt state config and yeah configure our application name variable. Let's jump into our Solstic config UI and open our state. So our state should install a complete Apache web server. For that purpose, I have created uh, like an installation state, which is called install Apache, which contains two sub states, which are called when this install Apache SLS is um, triggered. So the first one is configure Apache. This is where we just install the role. And the one where we need our application name is updating the HTML. So by jumping into this HTML file or HTML um, state file, you will see a couple of things here. So the first thing is there are different um, yeah, actions which are executed in the state. And one is using the application name input parameter. It's important to know at that point that input parameters from VRA, when they are passed into the state, they are handled like any other pillar. So you can read them as pillars. So that's why you see here pillar application name. And also here, my first um, part of the state file, I'm checking if this pillar is yeah, present. So this is always a good idea to put it in the front of your states to just to validate if everything is yeah, existing. All right, so that's it. So you just have to add this piece of code here, pillar application name, and then your parameter is yeah, passed into your script or into your state. That's it. Then save this, run it, and next time when you uh, execute this script, you will see something like this. Web server, and then this was the input from we are ready. Good. So far, we have our web server deployed, but maybe we want to make it, make it a bit more individual. Give it some more yeah, character by, <laughs> by assigning a grain. So how to assign a grain? So if you think you need to run a complex script or command line, no, you don't. You don't need any scripting experience at that point. We just jump back into ARIA automation, into our cloud template. Have a look into our SolStack resource. There is nothing like grains or existing, but there is one property called additional parameters. 
additional minion parameters. For this, we just wait a bit, then we we'll get the uh, proposal here of what's left available. And what you see is you see additional minion params. If you select this, you're now able to just add grains to your soul stack config resource. By this, you just need to set grains, oops, grains, grains, colon. Then you need to define the uh, the tree where you will find your uh, grain yeah, attribute. In my case, I just call this roles. And then under roles, I will give it like the value of web server. So now, whenever my machine is deployed, it will get the, uh, the grain roles web server. So this, for example, can be used later on in your state files as well. Before we can complete our cloud template and start deploying it, we need to add one more final property. This property will allow us to log in into our machine. So we are going to select our vSphere object, our vSphere virtual machine, and then we add a property called remote access to our web resource. So we just start typing remote access then we have to specify which kind of authentication we want to use. So in our case, uh, we will select username and password, but as you see here, there are a couple of other options available, but username and password in that case will work. Then of course, you need to specify the username, which could be admin, for example, and we need to specify the password. And password could be password for example, up to you. And once this is done, you can start deploying your cloud template. That's it for now. So you know how to deploy the minion, assign a state file, passing a variable to your state file and adding some custom grains to your minion. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.